A historic moment for the near 40-year-old long-term care home Fairvern in Huntsville as the District of Muskoka is officially taking over as the owner and operator of the facility. District of Muskoka Commissioner of Health Norm Barrett says it's a big move that has bigger and positive implications for the long-term care home. Certainly, uh, we've done a lot of work to get us through today mm -hmm. uh, and all of that is validated within just a few words that we heard from from people sharing about just how important Fairburn is and uh, how, how much of a, a part of their life Fairburn is. It's a big moment and an emotional one for Dana Murdy, who has served as board chair for Fairburn for years. Murdy's father, Dean, was one of the biggest drivers behind redeveloping what used to be the Huntsville Hospital into what is Fairburn today. He passed away in 2014, but Murdy says he'd be proud of the moment today. 42 years ago, selling balloons on the main street to raise funds. Being here 40 years ago when he opened the door, I think he'd be proud. I think he'd be happy we're moving um, on to something different. Somewhere that's innovative and somewhere that we will have a home for more residents in not just Huntsville, but in Muskoka. This will be a true Muskoka home. Helen Austin of the Friends of Fairvern Volunteer Organization remembers when the hospital was going to be transitioned into Fairvern, and that was the start of her own path of supporting this long-term care home. Both of my children were born here when it was a hospital, and then when that closed, when we got our new hospital, which at that point was new, um, then uh, this, they decided to make it into a, a uh, uh, and the, the, there was a contest on what they were going to call it. So anyway, several people had written in different suggestions, but there was one lady who decided they would take Fairburn because it's it's uh, the uh, both both lakes anyway, okay. Vernon Lake and Fairy. and Fairy Lake. Yes. So uh, yeah, it was it was really something else. As for the future of Fairvern, there's no secret that the redevelopment will be underway soon with a groundbreaking on the new site in Huntsville scheduled to happen in August. Barrett says it's an innovative forward-thinking facility that puts comfort and care in the same category. So th this is really about how do, you, how do we take how we've lived for most of our life when we're in a home or a condo or an apartment building and make it feel the same, the same scale, the, the same amenities that you would have. Uh, so rather than having large living rooms and, and large dining rooms, it's going to be a scale that's home-like. And so you might move from your living room into your dining room to eat. That's the same experience that our residents will have. They'll have very small home-like areas um, of 13 or 14 residents who will each have their own living room and, and dining room and activity space who will also have access to larger areas. The main street will have all sorts of great uh, other amenities, but it'll be, it'll be as close to living in your home compared to what you might experience in other long-term care homes in the province today. And the future of Fairvern is in good hands with new administrator Carrie Acton recently taking over the facility. She says the transition from old to new is something that she's looking forward to. Really making it a building that is, is going to take us years into the future, not just you know five years into the future after we move in. We're looking 10, 20 years into the future. Um, we're also going to be able to welcome more residents, which is, which is a huge, huge um, bonus to the community. All of the long-term care homes in the Muskoka District carry very big wait lists, so we certainly need the beds in the system, and we need the beds here in Muskoka. So knowing that we were granted um, the additional beds from the Ministry of Long-Term Care is really exciting, and I think is, is not only for Huntsville itself, but for Muskoka as a whole.